We just got back from a quick trip down to Arizona to visit some family. Wasn't exactly perfect timing with spring coming, but now we're back here. It is really, really windy and it was really warm while we were gone. It's cold today, but it was warm while we were gone. The frost is rotten. Randy's laying pipe right now. It tells me there's not much left. It's dry out there. We can't plant until our insurance date, which is at least two weeks anyway. So I'm gonna start moving things around here because Jim and I are gonna go hard at it. There's gonna be a lot of videos coming fast. This one doesn't have the cold starts that are as cool as the 9870. Speaking of the 9870, we do still have it there. That machine is dad's machine. We needed to upgrade combines or we felt it was time and I was the one sitting in the seat to, I guess, make that purchase. So this machine is mine. That one is dad's. Odds are he's going to trade that for something else before we get into fall. We don't have the acres really to need two combines, especially now with this, this beast. I'm not going to be able to squeeze this thing out of here without moving the 6175. We'll probably get some more snow at some point here. We usually do get some snow on the corn planter. That's just central Minnesota. But with the ground thawed the way it is, I don't need to leave the blower or the push bucket attached because I'm just going to end up pushing more gravel than snow anyway. So what comes after this is just going to melt. So I may as well get this stuff off of here. Gonna need that hammer strap back. What that is is a piece that bolts onto the hitch, basically goes both sides around the hitch on the rock picker. You guys will see it. I'm gonna do that another time though, because right now I kinda wanna get the 8260 out and get that new Mendeco roller out of the middle of the yard. There we go. You okay? All right? That tire's been leaky for three, four years. It, it holds when we're using it. It's a slow leak. It just, it loses half the air over winter. I'll just shoot some in there. We got a machine for that. Oh, that wind is brutal. I'm pretty sure it's getting colder out. So we'll get into this a little bit more later. For now, I really just wanted it out of the yard, but it is a three piece or three section I think they call it 60 foot Mendeco land roller it's the same company of, of who builds the uh, VT storm that we've been running which by the way we got a different one coming with some concave blades that's gonna show up here real soon and we'll get into this we like the one we ran last year which I think was a 40 or a 45 footer this is a 60 footer so it'll match the planter Look at that. Looks like, just like the uh, vertical tillage, the storm, we got our color-coded handles, that's handy. They got in and out on them. Out. Next up, got some totes of Roundup over here that came in from Farmer's Business Network. I'm gonna sort those out and then I got a few trailers to move with this thing, get everything out of the way. And I'm gonna put them in an awkward spot because I need to unfold the planter and I need to put the Peterbilt here. You guys will see, you'll see.
I've had a couple things come up here in the last few minutes, so I've decided I'm going to leave the planter closed up for now. We might delay that by a day because I've got some other things to show you guys. I'll go see if Becky can give me a ride to town so we can show you guys finally what Dad traded the 8360 RT for. You get up there? Well, it turns out Becky was able to give me a ride to town to grab the new rake here, and Isla wanted to come with and check out the new tractor, the new to us tractor. She's still wearing her red eye flight home pajamas. She's still a little tired. Me too. What do you think of the new tractor, Isla? You're just gonna be camera shy now? She likes it. She likes it. It is a 2018 uh, 9570R. It's got big metric 800s on it. We did not go with the track model. That's not important. We didn't go with the track model, the RX, for a few different reasons. We just weren't sure. We wanted to jump to a four track system. Maintenance, expense. We felt like this was a good deal. It's got a little over 1100 hours on it between 1100 and 1200. And it's gonna do every job around the farm that you can imagine. But we've got a new piece coming tomorrow. I'm probably just gonna jump into tomorrow. I'm going on 31 or 32 hours now without sleeping, so I should probably, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go do some office work for a few hours. At some point I'll hit a wall and tip over. So we'll jump into tomorrow and we'll see what's coming. Well, it's not nearly as windy out today, but it is still cold. Dogs are having fun. And we've got a new piece of machinery coming to hook up to that 9570. You guys are going to get a better look at that today. And I don't know who's visiting me at the moment. It was Dwight from Mandaco coming to visit me. He's ahead of the truck that's bringing the new storm. We're actually getting a 33 foot storm now instead of the 27 footer that we ran last year. And this one is going to have concave disc blades, which you can put on the 27 footer we had last year, but uh, we decided to up update it to a one year newer model and uh, six feet wider. So we're gonna see how that goes. Here she is already. Look at that. What do you think, Anna? Morning, Jim. Morning, Zach. You're cleaning up the workspace already. Biggest stuff out of here. May as well. What do you think of your new ride there, Jim? That that's gonna be nice. It's too narrow, maybe? Too narrow? Yeah. No, I like them tires on there. At least you're gonna <laughs> get stuck unless you really go into a bog. I I have faith you can do it. <laughs> get stuck here. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> Back up a little more. Keep going back. I'm lifting the skids here. Oh, well, there we go. There. Slide. There you go. There. Now you come. Now you come out. I'm not used to backing up a articulate tractor anymore. We need the smaller pin? I'll go check. Now I think our smaller pin, here's the strap for the other tractor. Our smaller pin is at the local dealer on a different tractor, so we're gonna have to come up with something.
There's a definite art to getting this thing off the trailer. Luckily, these guys have done it before. All right, Onyx, are you ready to lift those baskets up for us so we can throw the bolts in? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Remember to use your back, not your legs. Get a pinch in there. Reverse the impact for a second. There. You're in there, Alex. No more. Hey, man. Hope. This one we don't have to spin, huh? kind of feel like we should go out and try it. <laughs> We've got just a couple things left to do on this machine. Uh, the hitch pin being one of them, I gotta get the correct hitch pin in. And mount this control box inside the cab here. That'll be easy to do. Otherwise everybody left me, I'm gonna get this thing out of here and get the planter back in. It definitely got a lot sunnier out here during that project. Now, I gotta run for a couple hours. It's only two o'clock, but I gotta run for a couple hours. I gotta meet with somebody, and then I'm gonna be back because I need to get that sprayer out of there. Now that I boxed it in, I gotta get that sprayer out because I'm afraid it's gonna get boxed in by the planter project and it needs to get down to a, the dealer. We got a chemical delivery coming, and I gotta get the Peterbilt in over on the other side and then get this unfolded. See you in a couple hours. I'm back from my very important meeting. 
with the lady who cuts my hair. And I've got just enough pallets and boxes moved around here next to the sprayer that I think, I gotta climb over the old lawnmower here, but I think I can wiggle it out of here now, get it out. Then we'll see uh, how we're gonna get that planter in here. And the truck. Take bets on if it's gonna start or not. Don't lie to me. I want you to bet on that down there. Comment now. Is it going to start? And then come back and tell me if you were correct or not. I'm gonna say it starts. Ha! I never ever doubted it. Now, the next bet will be if I can get this thing out of here without damaging anything. Oh, we're getting a little snug with the mower. What do you think, Anna? Are we good? It looks like she's not concerned. Nothing to worry about. chilly out but it's gonna be a nice night look at that wonderfully clean shop it's really handy that the Sun is coming in the door like that right into my eyes that way I don't actually have to see anything there's nothing here worth any value that I could wreck anyway hmm I was hoping that this would take up a lot less room so that I could get around it with all these boxes over here because I'm gonna need a lot of them on that side. Maybe I can get around the back of it yet? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just move the toolboxes here, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm off, I'm like eight inches crooked, that's gonna drive me nuts. I gotta fix it. See that crack in the floor? Yep. That's what I needed. I'm good now. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you tune in to the next videos because we are about to strip this whole thing down. We're gonna get the Peterbilt in here. The hood's gonna be open on that. Who knows what we gotta do to that. The, the specialists are gonna come out and make sure that they know what's going on. But tune in, we're getting busy now. It's about to go down. Things are gonna get real. <laughs>